time for geometry. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Special types of quadrilaterals include parallelograms, rectangles, rhombuses, kites, squares, trapezoids, and isosceles trapezoids. The first and most important quadrilateral to know is the parallelogram. A parallelogram is defined as a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. In a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel, the opposite sides are congruent, the opposite angles are congruent, the diagonals bisect each other, and any pair of consecutive angles are supplementary. A rectangle is defined as a parallelogram in which at least one angle is a right angle. The properties of a rectangle include all of the properties of a parallelogram, all angles are right angles, and the diagonals are congruent. Moving on to a rhombus. A rhombus is defined as a parallelogram in which at least two consecutive sides are congruent. In a rhombus, all of the properties of a parallelogram apply, all of the properties of a kite apply, all sides are congruent, the diagonals bisect the angles, the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other, and finally, the diagonals divide the rhombus into four congruent right triangles. Next, we have a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral in which two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides are congruent. In a kite, two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides are congruent. The diagonals are perpendicular. One diagonal is the perpendicular bisector of the other. One of the diagonals bisects a pair of opposite angles, and one pair of opposite angles are congruent. A square is a parallelogram that is both a rectangle and a rhombus. The properties of squares include all of the properties of a rectangle and a rhombus, and the diagonals form four isosceles right triangles. Next comes a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are called bases. An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid in which the non-parallel sides are congruent. In an isosceles trapezoid, the legs are congruent, the bases are parallel, the lower base angles are congruent, the upper base angles are congruent, the diagonals are congruent, and finally, any lower base angle is supplementary to any upper base angle.